Hey! <clears throat> I'm back. And here is my second video of the day. Um, this video is basically five things that Microsoft needs to stop doing. <laughs> That's right, this is a simple soliloquy. Five things that Microsoft needs to stop doing if they want to, in any way, shape, or form, halt the bad publicity. Number five, drop the connect. Please drop the connect. Drop the connect and lower the price of $399. Yes. Yes. Because the way it's going right now, it's, I mean, it's just. It's not gonna end. It's not gonna end well. It's not gonna end well at all. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I have several friends who own a Connect, and who, I'm oh, sorry, they own 360s, and they got the Connect when it first came out because it was brand new. They're like, oh, I'm gonna get the new thing, and like out of my six friends who are like who have 360s, um. Like, four of them are hardcore Xbox fanboys. The other two are just, they just have multiple systems. And all of them, every single last one of them, have basically, they've either sold their Kinect or they it's in a closet someplace, <laughs> taking up space. <laughs> they don't use the Kinect. Um, and none of them like the Kinect. No one, no real gamer likes the Kinect. So, Microsoft, drop it. It's a lost cause. It's increasing the price of your console to where it's not even really competitive. Drop it. Drop the Kinect. Okay. Just drop it. I don't know. Drop whatever uh, Xbox ones you have left. Open them up. Take the Kinect out. Lower, you know, re re redesign it to take the friggin' connect out, and um, unplug it and repackage it to lower the price to 3.99, and you know that'll help. Number four, drop the DRM. Period. The check-ins, all of it. Um, of the six friends I just told you about in the earlier step, um, one got an Xbox One. Okay. The others have basically have sworn off Xbox after the reveal of the Xbox One. Um, one got an Xbox One, but he lives in a rural part of, uh, not a rural part, an area in Virginia that's rural. And, you know, he doesn't really have dependable internet. Um, they call it high speed. It isn't. He's lucky. Like, sometimes he'll get, like, like, 100 kilobytes. Sometimes he'll get, no, sometimes he'll get, like, like, 20, 20 megabytes per minute, and sometimes it'll just cut out for hours, sometimes days on end. So what I'm saying is, like, he couldn't even download the day one update to disable the DRM, so he couldn't even play his games. Couldn't play Killer Instinct, couldn't play Rise, couldn't play, um, Dead Rising. So basically, I, uh, he came to my house, I said, well, you can use my internet, and he hooked his thing up in, in my basement, and he used my internet downstairs, and in my man cave, and that's when I played Killer Instinct. And I can tell you right now, um, that is some bullshit. You know, if I can't, if, if, if there's a mandatory install, and I can't even play my games, because, I mean, I know for a fact that there are people who never downloaded the day one patch for the Wii U, can play all their games... That seems a little odd to me, but, you know. But the Wii U's la it isn't next-gen, though, so. <laughs> the Xbox One, the one box you'll need, unless you want to play, you know, whatever. Um, that segues to step three. Add backwards compatibility. Okay. If you followed my earlier step and dropped the Connect you can devote the operating system that you were using to power the Kinect to just emulating Xbox 360. That's right, emulating the Xbox 360, okay? Now, here's the thing, okay? The PS3, even the ones that had backwards compatibility taken away from them, could still play PS2 games, 
That's right. You just couldn't save on them. So, you do the same thing, except how about you make the saves, like digital, on the using the operating system. You emulate everything on that operating system. Backwards compatibility. Because I tell you right now, if I put 600 700 800 dollars into my gaming library then i'm told this is the only box you'll need for your gaming and entertainment needs and then i can't even use my investment of 800 of 600 700 800 dollars on my new system i'd be mad as hell now nintendo hasn't done that for two generations the wii was compatible with gamecube the, uh, the Wii U is compatible with the Wii, you know, they aren't going to kick you in the nuts like that, okay? <laughs> Which is basically what they're doing. Microsoft, stop it, okay? Stop it. Get your shit together. Sort it out. Number one thing that you can do to basically turn things around Microsoft is... Fire Major Nelson. No, don't fire Major Nelson, because I know that guy needs his job, but he's not a real gamer. Um, go out and hire a gamer. Like, an actual gamer. Not a fanboy, a gamer. And before you put anything on your Xbox One, talk to this gamer and say, how would the average gamer, the average consumer, you know, how would they feel about this? And let them be honest. Don't get mad at them if they say something you don't like. Let them be honest. Because I can tell you right now, they didn't do any of that when they were making the Xbox One. <laughs> okay? The DRM was made to um, pander to developers. I'm sorry, not actually, not developers. Publishers. Okay? Yeah. Um, mandatory checks, the used game BS, that was all made to pander to publishers. So gamers weren't thought of in that. Um, the non-backwards compatibility was made so that they, you basically would pay out for everything all over again. Even your, even your digital uh, games. Which is bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's bullshit. Even my Wii U I can go into Wii mode and play all my Wii games. So that's some bullshit. If you can't, I mean, that that is some serious, that's some real bullshit to say that digital games, I mean, I can go on the internet right now, go to a website, uh, go to um, Amazon or Steam and play games that I bought, or good old games, play games that I bought two or three years ago, you know, in some cases five or six years ago with Steam. And I can play those, but apparently, ooh, apparently I can't play. I can't play last gen games <laughs> on my Xbox One. I mean, seriously, get a gamer to tell you things about how your market's going to react. Don't go by study mar uh, market trends because, like, when it comes to video game consoles, the first people you have to convince are the gamers because they're the ones who they're the early adopters not Joe Schmo and his family and at $500 for this monster for this heavy monstrosity <laughs> definitely not for $500 not in this economy <laughs> but anyway that's my feeling um if you have any um suggestions you feel Microsoft could do to turn things around put them in the comment section Thank you. Have a good day.